right, okay. Ask a question. Angels are creatures of dust. We discover that through Mary Malone, an Oxford scholar. And is dust dark matter? Yes. But what are you? Angels. Angels exist across worlds, a coalescence of dust into a sentient, active being. Don't be afraid. We're not going to hurt you. What are you? Benny A. Lim. Angels, in your language. Angels. They have very human characteristics. They fall in love. Balthamus and Baruch, for example, are a very strong, romantically linked couple. The bond between Balthamus and Baruch is very strong, and where one goes, the other feels. They are sometimes known as the Watchers, in that they watch over certain worlds. Making, stimulating, guiding. But why? have long ago been thrown out of the kingdom of heaven through rebelling against the rule of the authority. We who fought for truth were cast out of the kingdom. Zivania is the leader of the rebel angels. She has been leading the rebel angels for millennia and joins forces with me. The great betrayer. Was the millennia in exile not degradation enough for you? The kingdom as we know it has already gone, Alamus. This is our final rebellion. It's a difficult relationship because angels and humans are so far away from each other in terms of their perspective on life. If I have to incarcerate every angel, I will. If I have to take a knife to the heart of the authority himself, I will. I intend to march upon the kingdom of heaven, and I should very much like you to join me. Azrael is a revolutionary and freedom fighter. He finds his allies and begins building the base for the rebellion. Welcome to the Republic of Heaven, Commander. The real war is coming, and we must win it. Azrael's Republic is a military encampment for science, ingenuity, and his military forces to gather. Asriel's council is made up of Commander Agumwe, who looks after all operational matters. Brutus Gardi brings clans of the witches. Zephania, the light angel, equivalent of Metatron's dark angel. The great betrayer. You speak of betrayal when you have taken orders to kill one of our own kind. Lord Asriel. Roke. And Commander Roke, the leader of the Galavespians and the whole of the spy network. What is it? A message from our Magisterium spy, Agent Salmachia. She says they're preparing to undertake a search mission. For what? Your daughter. They think she's the most important child that's ever lived. Asriel's end goal is to fight the authority. And what he learns is that it's a slightly different kind of fight. What is this? It's kind of best communication device. We have a message from our agent in the Magisterium. We're about to land on a remote island in the German Ocean. I'll take the intention craft. It's the fastest way. Understood. Try not to die. Why are you following us? I am a member of Lord Azrael's Republic. I'm here for you and the girl and your knife. Galavespians are very, very small creatures who Azrael uses as his spy network. Lord Azrael, your daughter, sir. Salmachia believes she's in danger. When is Lyra not in danger? Commander Roke is the Galavespian who sits on Azrael's council. He has Galavespians positioned all over the world, and they communicate with him and give him information. 
Agent Salmakia, for example, is positioned in the headquarters of the Magisterium, so she can tell Rote what the Magisterium are up to. Retrieve the child. Retrieve the mother. And return them to me, dead or alive. They communicate using this really strange device called the Lodestone Resonator, which means that they can communicate across the worlds. Lodestone Resonating, go ahead. We're about to land a remote island in the German Ocean. Agent Salmachia, get to the children, get them to safety, then stay with them until I arrive. Understood? Understood. They're quite prickly. You've been lying this whole time. The knife is broken. Stop attacking him. Give me one reason why I should but quite honorable as well. Because Azrael needs him safe. Whatever you're doing, do it quickly. This war will need us all. We're about to land a remote island in the German Ocean. Fair Isle. I know the place. I'll take the intention craft. The intention craft is a machine that, through the intent of his mind, will allow Azrael to journey through different worlds. The craft may not be ready for this. Well, then that is on the pair of us, is it not? The force between himself and his demon powers the intention craft. So your demon powers it, and your intentions control it, am I right? I don't think he'd want you to be looking at them quite so forensically. Mrs. Coulter looks over some plans for it, and we see her exploring it before Azrael arrives, and then we just see her having the sort of pluckiness to get in it and just give it a go. Goodbye, Azrael. <laughs> 